Some interesting comments coming in from another Piers Morgan interview. Now, I want to frame this to start straight away. He's got a real problem with Ten Hag because Cristiano Ronaldo is his mate. Piers Morgan's got a problem with Ten Hag because Ten Hag apparently kicked his mate out of Manchester United. And he never shuts up about Ten Hag. And it's, and, and it's the most clear agenda ever. Now, that doesn't mean at some point Ten Hag won't get the sack. I mean, that could happen. But it won't be because Piers Morgan was right. But this is what he's had to say about Ten Hag. Coming from Ajax to United, as he did, is a big difference. I've been in both clubs. You have a different kind of discipline. Ajax is a talented club. They have the best talents in the club. They don't have big stars. What is the experience of Ten Hag? Young talents. He comes to United. It's a different mentality. The players there are supposed to be big stars. I don't think you give the same treatment. How much time do you give a coach? It depends on the owners what they want but if you listen to the fans you don't have a lot of time because they want to win and I understand them because they're used to winning and they want to still win and then finally he said that uh, Manchester United has to win they have to win every title they play for now they're being dominated by neighbours Man City and it's a totally different situation there I think he is living on Ten Hag he says I think he's living two different situations now then obviously what happened with Sancho and Ronaldo, I don't know. When things are good, there are still errors and problems, but you don't see it because they we they are we are winning. I mean, he's a bit all over the place, isn't he? I mean, look, ultimately he's just an observer. Very very good player, but he's just an observer. I don't I don't, I don't agree with that. I mean, I don't really agree with anybody. You know, the difference between Ajax and Manchester United. Well, actually, Ajax under Ten Hag were probably better than the Man United side that he came to. So. We've got to be, look, when, th when you're down on the floor, most people will kick and spit at you. Ten Hag at the moment is an easy target. So when Zlatan says it's a big difference between Ajax and Manchester United, I don't think it is. Well done, Zlatan. You played for Ajax and Manchester United and many other clubs. But I don't see a difference between Manchester United and Ajax. In fact, I guarantee up until Ten Hag left Ajax, it's gone wrong. I guarantee you that Ajax was run a lot better than Manchester United because we've seen how badly Man United have been run. I, th I, th I think this. Is, I think. I think it amazes me when people start having a pop at Ten Hag, how they completely and utterly rewrite history. Man United's a much bigger club than Ajax. Well, it's not. Ajax have been in a Champions League semi-final more recently than we have. You know, the job's too big for Ten Hag at Manchester United is nonsense. So all this bullshit that. Ten Hag can't manage Man United because it's too big for him. Let's not pretend Manchester United's too big for Ten Hag. You always know, I've got no problem with an external person, player, media outlet, talking about our football club. But you also you always know they don't know anything about our football club when they start talking about nonsense like the job's too big for Ten Hag. He, doesn't, he knows how to look after young players, but he doesn't know how to deal with bigger players. And I just think, hold on a minute. You've been talking about your talking out your ass for two minutes, and not once have you mentioned how badly run the football club club is at the top. So I'm not taking any notice about what Zlatan's saying about Man United because he's on a an agenda driven show with Piers Morgan, who's got it in for Ten Hag, and at no point did they acknowledge or discuss the big issues at Manchester United.